Hey everybody, it's Party Lead. Welcome you back to another episode of our adventures in Port Royal 4. As always, a massive thanks to the folks over at Calypso for sponsoring this mini-series. And as always, if you'd like to see more Port Royal 4 on the channel beyond, don't hesitate to let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. If you like what you've seen so far and are thinking about picking the game up for yourself, it is available on PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4 right now with a Nintendo Switch release planned for early 2021. You can learn more about the game and even pick it up at the link in the description down below. It'll be the same link in the pinned comment down below as well. Folks, with regards to this mini-series, this might actually be the finale. We've made a lot of progress with our uh, rum establishment, with our rum pyre, as I've been saying. Uh, though, as of now, it is still a, 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 it's more of a rump state, I guess. But with Trinidad nearly in the bag and uh, Isabella right here as well. We should be able to take over these three, uh, this trifecta with hopefully relative ease and, uh, and, and, that'll, and that'll be that. That'll be that. We're very close. I think what we want to focus on early on in today's session is Trinidad. Right now they are producing rum and wood entirely of their own accord, which, you know, good for them, but not good for me. Uh, so what we'll probably want to do is, now that we have sugar, again, just as a reminder, Rum needs sugar and wood for production. So now that we have sugar and rum happening down over here, what we can do is, uh, up at Trinidad, establish our own rum distillery, because the one that's available over here will only sell for about 90k. I don't know how much I can drop that price without establishing my own distillery, but beyond that, it's also not really at an ideal spot. These guys already have some sawmills up over here that we can use. Um, so if we establish our own rum distillery in the area, we might be able to force these guys out of business pretty quickly, uh, run them out of, rum them out of town maybe even, uh, and then we can establish our own sawmills in the area as well, scare these guys out of town, take control of, uh, the rum and wood production at Trinidad, and then we can ship sugar and rum between these two spots, or sorry, sugar and wood between these two spots, and also pick up the rum and deliver it across the, uh, the aisles. Uh, over at uh, Isabella. The the trouble with the rum distilleries is that there are three of them. Uh, so buying them out is certainly not an option. Uh, it is a bit of an option over at Trinidad, but I'd rather, you know, scare them out of the uh, out of town. It's cheaper, I think, that way. Uh, though maybe a bit more time-consuming, and time is money, as they say, so we'll figure that out. Uh, but yeah, th there's three of them here. So assuming they all sell at 90k a piece, let's say, that's, you know, a lot of money. Don't think we can afford that. Uh, so instead, what we might want to do is establish ourselves over here as well. Again, just have to purchase our building permit, establish our rum distillery over here, and we might. There's a bit of a risk, because I'm not 100% sure if this will work the way I want it to. But if we, um, if we establish a warehouse over here as well, we should be able to bring our sugar and wood, dump it at the warehouse without any money changing hands, and then from that warehouse our rum distillery should be able to pick up those raw materials for free. I don't know if that'll be lucrative. I mean, ideally what you do is you set up a warehouse, or we set up a warehouse at Trinidad and Port Royal as, where, uh, as well, where the sugar and wood is always stored, and so our ships never have to pay to pick it all up. Uh, and that way, you know, even that 48 or so that we pay right now to pick stuff up, we don't have to worry about. Which maybe maybe is the first thing I should do is set up a warehouse at Port Royal and experiment with that. Um, maybe, maybe. I think the first order of business is to get that rum trade, or rather rum production, I should say, at Trinidad. So let's go ahead and hit play. And as we do that over here, the Caspian will pick up a crew. I forgot to do that. Thank you for pointing that out in the comments. It will help us should we get caught up in engagements, but hopefully we will not. That would be very expensive because um, <laughs> I don't think we'll win. Uh, but with that said, let's hit play and send the Caspian over here. There's a nice hot spot of activity. I think we'll be able to make a bit of money. Uh, we should be able to purchase goods at an ideal price. Let's put it that way. Oh, beautiful timing. Hit that patrol mode right on time. Go and pick up that plunder. Yeah, sure. I'll take it. Take what I can get. Pick up the speed as well. Ooh. These guys have got to be coming down this way. Be prepared to intercept. They might turn down, or they might be coming through. Ooh, you as well. Beautiful. What I'm hoping is we can pick up uh, a good bit of... Um... <laughs> Wonderful. I love it. 125 bricks. Almost topped up. I could wait a little bit longer over here, see if another ship comes through. 
get greedy over here will pay the price. It's very important to keep in mind that the AI do love it. The AI does respond to pirates. When a pirate is uh, in the area, a little notification goes out, just like we got. And at least from what I've seen, from my understanding of it, the AI will go to a place where pirates have been seen, and it will send military vessels, and it will try to shut that nonsense down. So this might be a dangerous place to be right now as a pirate. Over to Santo Domingo. Let's go ahead and drop off. Oh, money's not looking very good right now. Drop off the bricks. Yep. Drop off the tobacco. Hmm. Probably make... We could probably maximize our profits here a bit if we drop the tobacco off elsewhere as well. Might be worth it. Cotton. We can dump here. And again, dropping those colonial commodities is also helping our fame, right? So even though it costs us fame to attack ships, we very quickly get it back. Drop you off over here. Metalware, can we drop that off as well? Hmm. Worth 200. Oh, the price drop isn't that bad, I suppose. Considering how much we paid for these. Drop the coffee off here as well. Drop off the pastry. Uh, how about the sugar? Where is the sugar? Sugar, sugar, sugar. Where you at? There you are. Sure. No big deal there. Drop this stuff off as well. We've got some corn and vegetables. Not a lot of money to be made there, but we'll take it. And the tobacco we have left. I mean, Santo Domingo makes ceramics. Try to sell that. A couple of spots, I suppose. We want to use this vessel for trading proper. That's too expensive over here. Let's just drop the uh, tobacco off at Port-au-Prince, and we'll continue our activities, uh, you know, maybe further up over here, where those vessels were coming through from. We need to keep our eyes on our margins, though. And our overall just financial situation. Oof. Seriously? Wait. What are we looking at here? Go from zero. We are selling it at 144. Yikes. Price drops fast on tobacco. Up at Tortuga, perhaps? Our co op produces, so I, I assume it's doing a lot of uh, selling over here. What am I looking for? Tobacco. Not ideal. Santiago does as well. Port Royal. Let's go ahead and sell down here. Maybe let's pick up some sugar and, and drop it off at a couple of spots. Oh my god, look at that, guys. Come on. Come on. Go. Oh. oh, that's too risky. That's too risky. Going in between all these towns, we will get, uh, we will get caught. We will get caught by a, uh, military, um, convoy. Alright, tobacco down over here. Yep. Come on, man. Here. We got it for free. Uh, we have to consider our maintenance costs and stuff, though, as well. Sugar. Should be available here. Where are you? Sugar, sugar, sugar. Oh, would you look at that? Maybe we have a few too many rum distilleries active in the area. Price is actually dropping here. Or rather, price is, is, is going up over here. Still not too bad. We can still double our... Uh... That's, 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 that's ridiculous. Um, do we really need another sugar cultivation here? Got the two rum distilleries. I could put the cultivations down around the bend over here. We have the money for it. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Go ahead and put you down over here, because this is this is essential for our um Put two down. This is essential for our profitability over here. Um, Caspian, what do we do with you? I'll send you up over here. I fear that it's a for you. peace we with made peace France, fair enough. France. I fear that it's a pirate's life for the Caspian over here. Make its uh, money consistently until I'm able to really drop those prices a bit more. What are we looking at in the area? Our eyes peeled for, ooh, hello, military vessels. Hello, there we go, beautiful. Pick all that up. What else have we got? Need to be ready to hit that pause button. Oh, that's not good. Nice, this is good. And you as well, beautiful. Pick it all up. We're topped up. Get away from here. 
Over to Santiago. Sell some of this there. Tobacco, though. How about Port Royal? Alright, Pegasus, I need you to make some money on this drop-off here. What is going on? What is going on with the sugar? I should have dropped again. Head on over, drop this stuff off so that our next vessel will be able to pick some goods up. Fruits. Wow. Don't mind if I do. Uh, grain, we don't have. Pastries. Pastries, pastries. Uh, we're producing that over here. Ceramics. Here. Go for it. Rope. Go for that as well. Hemp as well. Sure, it's only a little bit. Dump some of these guys off as well. How about corn? Sure. Vegetables. Yes, money. Sugar, we're not going to sell here, obviously. Tobacco. Tobacco, tobacco. Oh, yeah. I think... Did we already drop tobacco off over here? Must have. Um, maybe up to Santo Domingo. Again, it's a colonial commodity, right? At least get the fame from it, if nothing else. Okay, that's better. Uh, it's immediately dropping, obviously. Picking up the sugar, right? Picking up all that sugar. Head on over over here. And dump the tobacco. Nice. And how about the pastries? Yep. Sure, that's okay. We didn't pay much for it. <laughs> we didn't pay much for it. The sugar, too. Why not? All right, that feels a bit better. So, what have we got? Over at Port Royal, we are producing. We're overproducing sugar again, hopefully soon. Oh, you know what? These haven't even been built yet. Maybe I was a little uh, over-eager there. Hope I'm not going to have to pay a hefty price for that over-eagerness. Looks like we're over our 3K mark. But we are currently facing a bit of a housing situation, unfortunately. The thing is, as much as I'd like to get that shipyard done that I was talking about, a small ship, or like a regular shipyard, only allows for... Oh, just barely got away, buddy. Uh, only allows for the uh, purchase and sale of secondhand ships. You need a... Um, a large shipyard to build them. And unfortunately, a large shipyard requires 6,000 inhabitants. So I don't think we'll be getting there for a while still, uh, which is unfortunate, but necessary. Or, sorry, unfortunate, and as a result, unnecessary. Sorry, I'm like, you can probably tell how nervous I am over here. One of our captains is leveled up. Go ahead and up your... Oh, it was you, Avery. Sure, up that. Carry more at a time. We're at 40k right now, 36 after that purchase from the Althea. What are we looking at? Come on. Before uh, military vessels start coming this way. Ooh, <laughs> let's move away from that. Ah, oh, got lucky there. Nope, not so much. Good stuff, we're almost topped up, so you know what, let's play it safe. Play it safe over here. Uh, rope, grain, corn, fruits. Sure, down to Port Royal. Down to Port Royal. Money's looking good again. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Fruits, yep. Don't mind if I do. We got grain as well, just a little bit. Sugar, we're not going to sell here, obviously. Rope. There you go. Wow. Yeah, money's looking good. Ceramics. Beautiful. Meat, 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 meat. Where are you? There you are. Boom. And then corn we can sell. And vegetables here as well. All right. Money is looking fantastic, actually. Let's head on up to Trinidad. Uh, dump the sugar up there. I don't want to pick more up because I'm worried we'll spend money and not be able to make it back. Over here, sugar. I feel like if we bought too much, we'd be in trouble. Uh, but, Trinidad, time to introduce you to a more efficient, more delicious brand of rum. Establish our distillery over here. We will be a bit more efficient than the existing one because, again, we're adjacent to these uh, sawmills. We can also start producing our own wood in the area, too, and, again, drive these guys out of town. Um, reduce the cost of wood make it cheaper for us to ship our own wood and sugar back and forth, right? All that, all that jazz. Um, let's see, what's the deal over here? We'll see. Well, these, gotta get, these have got to get established first, right? That should be good for us. And we should also take a look at the building permit over at Isabella. Get that. Yep. And let's establish our rum distillery here as well. 25k. A little worried, I'm not gonna lie. 
over here. Ooh, we might be... Ah, no, they do, they do have some efficiency bonuses up over here. But this is a good spot, I think. Pop you down over here. Yep. And when we when we get our money back up again, I'll take a look at... Um, I'll take a look at the opportunity to maybe establish a warehouse. Again, it's a bit of a risk. It's a bit of a risk, but it might be worth it. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up a bunch of cloth... And wood. Trinidad sells wood. Well, produces wood. It's about to sell some wood. I'm going to take a bit of a risk over here. Pick up a hundred wood. Head on down and pick up some cloth from Port au Prince and then deliver it up over here at Tortuga. I think that would be a financially viable move. We're about to find out. Money's looking tight right now, but hopefully that's only temporary. Pick up some cloth over here. Very oof. Okay. Oh, and of course Tortuga's um, plague is over by the time I get here. Well, that's not ideal. We gotta dump. We gotta dump our stuff though. Need to make sure there's money so that the other ships can buy stuff. And they have plenty of wood here, of course, because they produce it. But down at Port Royal, we can go ahead and ship it out. Again, right? This is the the route we'll be building anyway. Come down over here. Drop off the wood. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a conversation we're having. Let's try something out over here. Let us build a new route from Port Royal to Trinidad. Back and forth. At Port Royal, we will be purchasing sugar. Maximum of 49. Thank you. Over at Trinidad, we will be selling sugar. Minimum of, let's say... 80. Because again, it's for our own business there as well, right? But at Trinidad, we will be buying wood at a maximum of, sure, let's say 48. And at Port Royal, we'll be selling it at a minimum of sure, 52. Let's let's try some reasonable numbers first. Now, from both of these, I could be buying some rum as well. Let's say the most I'm willing to spend is... What, what should I say, actually? Let's confirm this for now. Um... How much does it cost? 118 is the price right now. I need some more distilleries or something. Let's say the most I'm willing to spend is 100 and maybe 20. There we go. Port Royal. 120, yep. Yeah. And at Trinidad, we're going to go ahead and sell for whatever price. I want to see how much quicker we can flood this area with our own um, rum. The Caspian, let's follow your journey a little bit here. It's it's going to be tough because of how... I mean, like, it's going to feel wasteful because of how much room it has to actually carry stuff. Did you not buy any wood? That's an interesting decision. You should be buying sugar as well, actually. Hang on. Oh, no, no, I do have that set. Only buying rum. What's going on here? Uh, a combined fleet of French, English, and Portuguese ships fight against the Spanish fleet off the coast of São Miguel Island. The aim is to gain control of the Azores for the previously defeated Antonio Prior of Crato. This is the largest French fleet that has been in action up to this point. Nevertheless, the supporters of Antonio Prior of Crato are defeated and the Azores fall to Spain, thus completing the transfer of power in Portugal. Very well. Okay, uh, maybe a little premature on this. I don't know, they should be picking up sugar over here, though. What's the price now? Yeah, still 48. I'm confused as to why we didn't pick any up. Let's dump the rum over here. Good stuff. Maybe let's uh, give ourselves a bit of a buffer again. <laughs> Just a little bit. Camp out over here. Hopefully it's safe. Far away from... Oh, set up an interception over here. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Getting away from me. Trying to get sloppy over here. Might take some risks. That's never a good thing. Sorry, merchant from Georgetown. Money is money. Thank you very much. Got the Spanish vessel over here coming through. A couple military vessels in the area. Or military fleets, I should say. A little bit of money. Oh, yeah, beautiful. We're topped up. Glad I checked. 
what have we got? Rum, cacao, hemp, rope, sugar. Let's go up to Santiago. Well, maybe we go up to uh, Trinidad, actually. Yeah, sure. More of our stuff needs to sell over there. I think we'll be that'll be a better call. Up we go. And dump everything. Cacao first. Damn, they have a fair bit over here, apparently. Or actually, the demand is lower, I should say. The demand is lower. Rope and hemp. Why did I come up here? What was I thinking? Sugar is what I was thinking. And the rum that I wanted to flood the market with. Uh, cotton, sure. The rest... Oh, what about the bricks? Sure. The rest we'll ship out to Evangelista. Go on. There we go. Look at all those military vessels. It's gotta be a, it's gotta be a response to piracy. Uh, cacao. Oh my god. Sure. What about the rope and the hemp? Rope. Go. Get the price above 200. Yep. The hemp as well. 108. Price drops pretty hard, doesn't it? Alright. Let's head on over to... Port Royal. I summon you to an audience because I have a What do you have to, to discuss, discuss with me? Difficulty sending cotton over to Europe. Listen, I'm working on something far more important than sending cotton back to Europe, okay? It'd be far more profitable than anything you've cooked up. There's all the hemp, there's all the rope, beautiful, beautiful, and all the cacao as well. No, not all of it, but a fair bit of it. Let's go ahead and deliver that over to Santo Domingo. Well, again, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna, oof. Oh, oh wow, did you see that? That was that was a military fleet. Alright. Willing to take a risk over here? Yes, yes. Very close to a city here. There we go. Plunder you. Thank you very much. Good enough for me. Oh, I guess not. Get you as well. Stuff. Away. And let's head on over. That was a merchant from Santo Domingo, so there's a little bit of... Uh, Salt in this trade. <laughs> uh, dump the sugar, sure. Dump the fruits and vegetables as well, sure. Again, not not the most profitable, but how much time are we going to spend shipping those goods elsewhere instead, right? Ceramics we shouldn't sell over here, but the cacao. I'm picky about the ceramics because that is a lot of money to be made. The ceramics we can ship all over to here, maybe, instead. Or, you know what, even Port Royal bigger city they'll have demands for more luxury goods and things like that so look at all these military vessels terrifying terrifying absolutely terrifying ceramics can sell some of them here let's do that let's head on up to santiago money's looking all right dump the ceramics here Good stuff. Now let's just check the situation at Trinidad. Insufficient living space. So that's that's a you problem. I can't do anything about that. In all seriousness. That is, uh, you need to be an administrator to take care of that kind of stuff. What is the deal here, though? We are producing more rum than the local business, but I don't know if it's more enough. Ooh. Price is still quite high. Price is still quite high. I want to establish a warehouse over here. Or would I rather do that over here? And our distillery here has been working away. Yeah, they're producing so much more than us. <laughs> they're producing so much more than us. I wonder... I'm trying to figure out the next step over here. What is the cost of wood at Trinidad? 43. We can still establish some more sawmills up over here, I think is the right call. Oops. Construction. That's pretty cheap to build. Yep. Could be... Establish one over here. And then we'll uh, maybe establish another rum distillery over here or something. Where is the Caspian? Pull you out of there. There's another... Oh, that. We missed opportunities. Three missed opportunities. Not 
Mako chasing towards the town. Oh, that's not good. Use the wind to get away. You just They just need to be out of sight for you to be able to... Um, yeah, <laughs> they were chasing us. They were hot on our tail. Way too close to a town over here. Way too close to a town over there. Did I see a merchant vessel down there? Vessel? Vessel is the word I was looking for. The deal up over here. This tends to, I think, be a popular um, corridor as well. They put over here for a bit. Money's looking all right. 20k plus. Well, just dropped underneath. Threshold. We're okay, though. All right. Hello. Hello. Beautiful. I'll have that. Thank you very much. You as well. Do not care what flag you fly. About my business. My empire. My successes. Look at those guys. Where are you headed to next? See, because I have uh, building permits and stuff, I can see where these ships are going to go. And I can try and get some work done like this. 341, I think that's good enough. What do we have, though? Uh, yeah, some stuff we can dump off at Evangelista, I think. Make a pretty penny. Hopefully. Some military vessels over here as well now. Oh, no, they were there before as well. Uh, oh, man. I mean, we, we got it for free. We got it all for free. You guys trying to ship rum without my licenses. Coffee? Have a coffee over here. Yeah, we can dump some off. Carrying way too much. Some uh, metalware, perhaps? Yep. Wood. Cow, rum, coffee. Furniture. How about furniture? Nice. That's good. Up over here to Trinidad with the, with the coffee, maybe? I don't know how... Uh, well, that'll work out, but try it. Money's looking alright again. Cow, coffee, what are you looking at? The cow. Not the coffee, though. Hemp and rope they produce here. Yep. Ceramics. Sure. Good stuff. How about fruit and wood? There's the fruit. Wood, we find. Uh, let's get over to Port Royal, perhaps. Gotta drop some of that stuff off over here. The rum, though. Rum. Where should we ship the rum? Every day this ship travels is extremely expensive. Uh, where are we? Coffee first. Wow. Nope. No point there. Hemp. Sure. And wood we need for sure. Yep. Rum and coffee. Alright, sure. Let's go ahead and hit up uh, Santo Domingo. Oh, plague is rampant. Should I Should I hedge my... Should I, let's go for it. Let's get some cloth. And see if we can't ship some cloth over to Santo Domingo as well. Come on, baby. Make that money for me. Do it. Do it. Let's overinvest. Watch the plague dies off just as I get there. Just as I get there. Oh, don't tempt me like this, merchant from Grand Bahama. Don't tempt me to hoist the Jolly Roger and turn around. My holds are only half full. Alright, cloth... There you go. Coffee. Fame as well as money. I don't mind. And rum as well. Sure. Looking pretty good. I'm trying to figure out what the next step is here. Alright, what are we looking at? These guys still happily producing. Yeah, one, two, three. They are still at work. And over here. Have we run them off? Ah, they're still here. 98 you think you are? Who do you think you are? Hey, you got another run distillery over here. Put you down over there. And we can get some more sawmills as well. One more, I think, should do the trick. If we take a look at, uh, wow. That consumption is still pretty fast. Not able to keep up. Alright, let's move you down over here. Charlie Rogers hoisted. Come on now, come on now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Him. Nah, he's gonna get him. You're not. Done. Good stuff. Some cloth we can drop off already. Let's not get too cocky. I can feel it. You know, I can tell, I can tell something's gonna go horribly wrong any moment now. Any moment now. Poke our heads out this way. Still okay. Still okay. 
I feel like sticking around this area is a better idea because we can at least... It, what worries me is that there is obviously Evangelista and Trinidad are right next to each other. Oh, that's terrifying. Let's head up this way. Vessels are coming over this way. Hmm, okay. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> Money's looking good, though. 66. Plague is rampant here. Let's drop off the uh, cloth that we purchased. Quote unquote. And the rum, sure, why not? Everything else as well? How about ceramics? I mean, they produce ceramics here, don't they? Yeah, whatever. We'll drop it off. And the hemp as well. Oh, they were very much coming here. They were absolutely coming here. Yikes. All right. I wonder if it's time to... Pick this back up. It was expensive. Oh my god. This was a very expensive trade route. Hmm. Right at Port Royal. Buying sugar. Yes, buying uh, selling wood. Okay, Trinidad. Same thing. Well, the flip. Selling sugar, buying wood. Let's not sell the rum here. Since we're now producing rum here as well, let's go ahead and buy. Sure. And once we've done that, let's head on over to Evangelista. Where we will sell the rum. We have a Filipina, where we will also sell the rum. And here I think we'll also purchase... Rope. And... What else was it? Rope and... Maybe tobacco. Oh, you know what? Rope, tobacco, and also the um, metalware. See the maximum prices here. Because we know at Port Royal, rope, tobacco, and metalware are all selling. Let's leave these default prices for now. Confirm that. Assign the route. We are assigned. Okay, let's just watch this play out a little bit. Sorry about the little edit there. A bit of a sneezing fit. <laughs> let's go ahead and resume. There we go. All right, let's get... Why, 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 why you gotta start there? Why you gotta start there? It's okay. It's okay. We're able to buy stuff. We're able to sell stuff. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Really hope this is a profitable trade route. Otherwise, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. We'll be in a lot of trouble. Come on now. Okay. A little bit of money made there. We're gonna pick up some stuff over here, yeah, and we're gonna go all the way back. You know what, we should actually stop maybe at Evangelista and drop something off over here. A long way back. Through the dead water over here as well. Okay, it's okay. Not my ideal trip. The other option is to obviously go around Havana, Puerto Padre, Aracoa, and then end up at Port Royal. Might be better. Alright, this is, okay, this is what counts. We're gonna pick up rum. And sugar? You're not going to pick up sugar. Why are you not picking up sugar? Why are you not picking up sugar? Sugar is cheap here. Sugar is the price at which I want you to... That's the Althea. This is the Caspian. Yeah, why? That's so weird to me. It's supposed to be buying based on demand. Is, uh, if I'm not mistaken... Oops. Edit you. Gonna dad, we're selling... Did I up the priority here? Lower the minimum price? Sure, let's try that. Try it at 60. Try that. Didn't even pick up a lot of wood. Right? Negative 151. Yikes. Yikes, I say. Let's see if that turns around at all. Money's still alright, though. 56, good, good, good. All those other ships going around, doing their business. Oh, so tempting to plunder as we go through these waters with no military vessels in sight. Okay, this should be a good haul, right? Now let's see if the sugar gets picked up. Picked up. Yes, okay, great. War with, Spain has begun. War with Spain. Oh, come on. I just established this. 
I just established this. Why you gotta do me like that? Alright, fine. Down to Santiago. We'll drop off the rum over here, over to Baracoa. Take some manual control while this war is happening. Look at all those military vessels, though. Moving, moving to, uh, to attack. To actually Port Royal to drop uh, the metalware off. And I could get a letter of mark, but that's very expensive, and I don't, don't think that's worth it for our own needs, so to speak. But we camp out over here, and if those Spanish vessels continue to come through, there's money to be made. Ooh. Right. A war with the Spanish. I really wonder how much it's going to hurt our profits here on this route. Because when we get attacked, we get plundered a little bit. Not as bad as um, a pirate would do. Be like, if we look at this, they took very little stuff. I think overall it's probably still worth... Can you follow? Hmm. I, I could follow the Pegasus, but it's not like our military vessel is that strong or anything. It's not like we can um, make that much of a difference, let's be honest with ourselves. Oh, hang on, what's the deal over here? Still have their rum distillery. Still happily producing rum, are you? Okay, okay. Things are overflowing a little bit over here. Could establish another one as well. Maybe. Maybe. What's the deal over here? Rum is... <laughs> we're producing... We're, we're, more rum is overflowing up over here than down over here. It's kind of funny. Um, Alright, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and enable this route as well. What's the worst that could happen with a couple of... Uh, you know, one thing lost here or there. It's not the end of the world. So Evangelista is under siege right now. Definitely interesting. What happens here? I assume we're going to skip past it. Yeah. Fair enough. Oh, will Evangelista become English? That would be pretty cool. Dump it off over here. Uh, I don't know how good that was for us. Alright, we'll keep an eye on things. We'll keep an eye on things. Money's still being made. Look at that. Look at these opportunities that I'm letting swim by. Come on now. Come on now. Over to here. Roger up. That is a merchant. The Wedding of Shakespeare. An 18-year-old William Shakespeare marries Anne Hathaway, who is eight years older than him. At this point, she is already pregnant with the couple's first child, which will be born six months later. Shakespeare will spend much time apart from her during their marriage while he works in the London theatre. Nevertheless, he will return home regularly and later retire with her in Stratford. Good for you, buddy. I love that that's included alongside all the warring and everything that happens. <laughs> Alright, good stuff. That's a very popular spot for, uh, for merchants right now. Evangelista was annexed. Wow! From now on, the town belongs to England. Beautiful! Examine the trade routes that include... Well, our trade route should still be fine. Evangelista... Yeah, yeah, yeah no problem there. Selling rum. That's all we're doing. Stuff. Hit you up. There you go. Under. Thank you. Hit you up as well. Under that. Oh, useless. Can't even pick anything else up. Hey, at least we found a nice new hotspot. Uh... Turn off pirate mode over to Evangelista. Let's go ahead and drop some stuff off over here. Hopefully we can make some good money. Cacao, do you even need it over here? Now we can sell some. Before the price starts to drop. Uh, we've got rope. Rope, 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 where are you? Rope. Got rum on here? No, we don't. We've got wood, though. Sure. Dump a bit of it. Bricks, sure. Drop that off. We've got coal. Good stuff. Tobacco. Nope. No need to sell tobacco here, that's for sure. We could buy it here, though. Be dirt cheap over here. How about the uh, metalware? Alright. Let's head down to Port Royal. 
I might want to actually, yeah, edit our route over here. And at Evangelista, pick up some tobacco as well. Dump everything we're carrying at Port Royal, and then we'll resume the other uh, trade route and see what that does for us. I wish it was a dump all button. All the wood, all of the cacao, where are you? There you are. Sure, it's fine. I don't mind that there's a bit of a quote-unquote loss there. It's not really a loss, as we know. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Again, uh, providing stuff to our own town, right? We shouldn't feel too bad about that. We shouldn't feel too bad about that. Beer here. Cool. Back on your route. Get to it. More captains coming through. These guys are leveling up as well, I think. Um, go ahead and give you Carpenter, sure. You, my good friend, let's give you Carpenter as well. New captain has arrived. No need. 72k. Send it out. What are we looking at? Nice. The town's rum business has stopped producing rum at Trinidad. So hopefully... Well, their existence or non-existence doesn't matter if they're not producing any rum. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Now, we need to keep an eye on the pricing, though. We're good there. Up at Trin... Well, up at... Uh, not, not Tortuga, either. Up at Isabella. We might want to add some more rum distillery. over here or over here sure. do that and again thinking about that warehouse as well right thinking about that warehouse because what we would do is we would get a pair of warehouses one at port royal one at isabella is that oh, oh well three actually i think trinidad port royal and isabella that way we can load sugar and wood at no cost we can unload sugar and wood at no cost and then our business can use it, so we should be able to outproduce, or rather more cheaply produce, um, the rum. Which would be pretty good. But yeah, Trinidad has been taken care of. I mean, if these guys aren't producing rum, then they're, you know, not, not a part of the equation anymore. Literally. Literally, they are not a part of the equation anymore. Wonderful. Do I feel like taking that risk with the warehouses? That's the question. Where are you headed off to right now? Or to Evangelista, okay. Looks like it's making... Hmm, I don't know if it's... Uh, profitable. Again, taking maintenance costs and stuff into account as well, right? And this trip back, honestly, is painful. Do you think we should go around the top? Optional objective not met, that's okay. 37k. Let's see if let's see what the numbers look like after. I mean, this this, this trip we know isn't profitable. We know we're losing. Battles down south as well, costing us a little bit. This rum over here. Ooh. Oh, okay, let's surrender. I really hope they don't sink my ships here. We, we don't stand a chance. Okay, good. They did not sink our ship. Fair enough. That could have been bad, actually, considering it is a military vessel. I guess there is a risk to going around with a military vessel around these parts. Yeah, we'll keep our, keep our eyes on that situation as well. I mean, we don't even need to go all the way up there, honestly. Stick to Evangelista, get rid of uh, Nueva Filipina. Remove some of this uh, travel time as well, I suppose. A little bit better. A little bit. All right, we arrive down over here. And let's also actually, since we're here, pick up some cotton. Cotton is produced here. Up over here. Accept that task. Go ahead and drop it off over there. As well as the sugar and rum and all that stuff. An attempt to conquer Antwerp. Francis, Duke of Anjou and as Alençon, the youngest son of the French king, tries to take control of Antwerp in vain. Already in 1579, he had been invited by William I, Prince of Orange, to lead the Republic of the Seven United Netherlands, but did not return there until 1582. Because of his Catholic faith, he was not recognized to some extent, as he found it difficult to gain sympathy in the Protestant Netherlands. Dissatisfied with his limited power, he decided to conquer the city of Antwerp by force. The attempt failed, when the inhabitants 
fiercely defended their city. Good old town militia. Good old town militia, right? Alright, cotton. Dump it all over here. Beyond what they want. A bit of money made. Go ahead and get the rum offloaded here as well. Sugar, where are you at? Sugar's up top, I think. Yep. And the tobacco as well. Sure. They're producing it here. Not the end of the world. Let's activate the root, but let's edit it a little bit. Go ahead and get rid of Nueva Filipina. I wonder if this is going to be profitable enough. At Evangelista, we can buy grain. Sell that at Port Royal as well. That might might do the trick. Right out. Right out. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little concerned about that trade route. And uh, perfecting it. These guys still hanging around. <laughs> Raising their price for some reason. That doesn't make any sense to me. Rum is still overflowing. They are still an inactive business. What do they think they are? Not my competition, I guess. There's that, at least. Money's looking okay. 20k, 25, 23, 26. When will this war, when will this war with Spain end? Question. We're constantly just giving up some goods here and there. Ideal. Not Okay, that's better. That's better. Negative 88 versus negative 1,000 or 100, whatever it was before. Dumped a lot of sugar there at Trinidad. I wonder if this route's kind of getting into a rhythm over here. We'll see. We'll see once you drop stuff off at Port Royal. You can see our finances sort of stagnating a little bit. War between England and Spain ended today. That's good. That's good. That's just stagnation, 8k, that's a... Uh, oh, that's really not good. A known pirate has risen to power. A new known pirate? No, it's still Prospero. Not freaking out, buddy, it's okay. No pirates to worry about. Guys, overreacting. Overreacting. Isabella, what's your situation? I mean, another thing to consider is that we are also... Um... Hey, we're producing more rum than, uh... <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, one of their one of the distilleries shut down. Yes, one of the distilleries shut down. Excellent. Oh, baby. All right, cool. Come on, let me allow me to afford another one. I can push these guys out. Okay, I should be a bit more careful. I shouldn't just buy one as soon as I'm able to. All right, because as we can see, money is very like fluctuating very hard right now. It's rude. It's not good for me. Um, trying to figure out what I should add to this route, though. How much are we selling rum for over here? Oh, 198. How much are we selling rum for? At Evangelista, 190. Okay, I think that's fine. Port Royal, we're willing to buy for a maximum of 120. What is the price there right now? All right, what's the price of Trinidad? Is what I should look at. 101. Maybe 110 should be the most I'm willing to pay for rum. Port Royal. 110. Trinidad. 110. Yeah, let's do that. What I can do is after Evangelista. I mean, I could try selling rum to like Seville or something as well. Yeah. We could pick up some cloth over here. Whoops. Buy. Yep. Down to Valladolid. Over here, we can sell some more rum. Because again, we're only picking up according to demands. So we can pick more up, drop more off. This might be good for us. 15 day trip, approximately. What else should we do over here? We should buy some vegetables. Buy some vegetables, and then at Port Royal, we can sell them. And cloth as well. Vegetables. Yeah, there we go. From that. Let's see if that turns things around. Let's see if that turns things around. A lot of sugar here. No rum. 
Bought a lot of sugar. Okay, let's see what happens. Drop the sugar off, pick up a lot of rum. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, that's not a lot of rum, but it is some rum. Over here to Evangelista. Okay. We feel like we can sell the rum at a better price down there. Is that what's going on? Okay, maybe. Maybe that is what was going on. Money's looking alright. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to complain. If uh, if that's more of a viable option, then so be it. This trip back, though. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> the long trip. The long trip. Plague is rampant. We have no cloth, though. We didn't pick any up. It wasn't available at a decent price, I suppose. Dump everything here. Well, not my best route. Still not my best route. I mean, I, I guess at least we're... Oh, this isn't good. Alright, time to participate in some alternative money-making activities, I think. Ho ho ho, not over here, though. A little bit further along, I think. There we go. Sure. Need to keep my eyes peeled here. There we go. Hello. Thank you. Stuff. They'll be coming after me, I'm sure. Can't go with the wind over here. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Get away. Oh, this isn't good. Not good. Let's go. Okay, beautiful. Oh my god, that was terrifying. That was terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. I was really worried there. Keep moving over here. We have room in our hold still. This is a popular spot for merchants. If we can't catch any. Military vessel up over there. Our distance. We're looking okay over here. Another war with Spain? Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I'm trying to make some money over here. I'm trying to make some money over here. Move up over here. See if any of those Spanish merchants try to come through this way again. They did during the previous war. I don't know if they will again. Gotta stay wary of... Uh... Actually, hang on a second. Am I able to... It's a merchant from Port Royal that want to fight you. Come on. Ooh, no thank you. Because again, we're at war, so they're going to chase us even if we don't have the Jolly Roger hoisted. Keep pulling away, keep pulling away. There we go, I think we're a little bit faster than them. Good stuff. Keep going. Alright. Pull up top this way. And home territory. Might need to dump some of the stuff off, though. Oh, you know what? We, we actually ended up making some money there. I'm getting very nervous about our financial situation, I'm not going to lie. Got the clothes off over here, the cacao as well. So, sugar, not going to drop that off here. Pastry, not going to drop that either, but the tobacco, sure. Okay, can I? Why can't I attack you? Oh, I know why. Because I don't have a letter of mark. That's why. Okay. Where are you headed? Up this way? Don't mind if I follow you, I hope. Thank you. Bought my sugar. Yeah, bought my sugar. Ooh, hello. Merchant from Evangelista. Guess I just raided them. Alright, alright. Good way to double dip on profits. I think we're okay to maybe sell some of these goods off. Try and strike at that French merchant. Are you over here? Thank you very much. Come on now. There we go. Beautiful. Let's not get too cocky here now. Alright, we're maxed out. Get away. And swap flat. Oh, my heart, honestly. Just like beating through my chest every time I participate in our uh, alternative financial 
procurement practices. Yes, that's what they are. Dump sugar, can't do that here. Dump bricks though, good stuff. Cotton. Got rope. Yep, we've got hemp. Good stuff. Beer. A little bit higher up, yep. Plus furniture, cacao. Furniture down over here, yep. Good stuff, good stuff. Pastries as well, why not? Vegetables, coal. All that good stuff. One unit of vegetables. One barrel, I keep calling them units, I guess they're barrels, right? Sugar. Producing sugar here. We could head over to... Uh, we'll go for dropping off sugar. Santiago? Sure. Let's do that. Over to Santiago. Money's looking okay, I suppose. And over to Trinidad as well. I love that we just took Evangelista. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, I can drop sugar here. Over here then. Pump it off here. The Conquest of Eindhoven. During the Eighty Years' War, the Dutch city of Eindhoven is attacked by Spanish troops and besieged between February and April. Finally, the conquest succeeds and the city wall is destroyed. Several years will pass before Eindhoven becomes part of the Republic of the Seven United Netherlands again. It'd be cool if the warring that's going on in Europe is actually, or was actually, reflected uh, locally as well. Like if England and France have gone to war, then England and France should be at war over here as well, you know, things like that. Well, that makes sense to me. I feel like it'd be a nice, um, nice approach. All right, right hand at this again. Oh, no, nope. that's not worth chasing. They'll chase us even with the Jolly Roger not hoisted, but... Loop around. Let's, let's camp out over here, maybe. Again, this is a pretty popular spot, as we can see. Oh, I see that Dutch vessel. Oh, I see the Spanish military fleet over here pull away. So we can get some assistance from our navy. No need. They backed away. Cowards. Pull up over here. The sworn. Hello. Merchant from Trinidad. Trying to sell my rum. I mean, I don't mind that, but like I said, double dip, right? Double dip. A little bit more. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? What have you got for me? For eyes on these military vessels. Venture out a little bit further. Need to be very careful about potential Spanish intervention over here as well. See that that ship's about to head down over here, I think. Try to scope us out. This is a dangerous spot. We've seen Spanish military fleets here often. Careful. Guarding their waters. Alright. Enough time spent there. Head on over. Dump some rum off at Evangelista. And other stuff as well. Oh, oh, of course. Of course they go by right as I'm... Okay, not the end of the world. Drop some wood off. Drop some coffee and rum off as well. Okay, there we go. Got some metal. Do you guys need metal over here? Doubt it. I know where they do though. We got to Trinidad here. So there's some stuff we can drop off over here. Actually, maybe not. Coffee, maybe? Not even that. Rain, I suppose. Sure. But down at Santiago, we should be able to dump the uh, the metal. And the wood at Port Royal. That should help. Santiago, you need metal to make your metalware. Right? Come on now. There we go. Drop that off. Let's go ahead and pick up some metalware. Because we're heading down to Port Royal, where it is almost always needed. Cotton. Sure. But hemp. You guys want hemp? Some hemp. Yes, you do. Excellent. And some pastries as well. Yes, because we produce them down at Port Royal, right? Port pastries. Pastry Royale. I don't know. I don't know. Wood down over here, though, for the production of rum. Then we've got our, yep, these guys, sure. Again, my own ships are coming through as well. Drop you off. And let's maybe head on over to Port-au-Prince and drop off the metalware there. Good stuff, 50k, 59. 
Money's looking alright. Money's looking alright. Alright. Activate your route again. And what do we see up at Trinidad? That rum distillery. Still got the bu still got the building. Oh, they're active again. Active again, are you? That's not nice. That's not nice, Isabella. What are you up to over here? Good. Their businesses have shut down. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wonder if... Me buying rum up over here is actually creating a uh, demand for more. Yeah. Alright. Might need to establish another rum distillery. Might just buy theirs, honestly, at this point. Might. Might. Dude, you're... Empty hold over here. Render. Render. You can buy some stuff over there, though, right? Vegetables. Lots of vegetables. Some of which will get robbed. Thieves, I swear. I have a job for you. I have a job for me. What I is it? Need you. Plague in Santo Domingo. Deliver wood and cloth. The cow from France. No, no, no. Wood and cloth. Fine. Let's try that. There's a bit of money to be made from doing that. Down over here. Drop that sugar off. Unfortunately. Buy as much cloth as we can. Drop it off at Santo Domingo. Pick it up. Where are we? Cloth. Pick it all up. Highest price we paid was 252. Hopefully we'll make the money back. God. <laughs> I hope. I hope. Alright. Man, look at that. The war with Spain is huge. War with Spain is huge. Yikes. That wasn't ideal. Pick this route back up. Isabella. Shut down the town's businesses. Look at that. Another one actually closed shop. Beautiful. Finidad, what are you guys up to over here? Ah, they're still working away. Okay. Okay. Maybe it is all the uh, purchasing and distributing of rum up over there. But you know what? Edit this route. Even though it'll hurt our profits a little bit. Not what it's about. Not what it's about. I'm gonna sell rum over here. I'm gonna buy it from Port Royal. And again, it's it's not good for our profits or anything like that, but I don't... Again, I want to get rid of these other rum businesses first, right? I want to get rid of these other businesses first. Port Royal has grown to its limit, I think, as well. Yep. We're not here to establish housing. We're not here to help people find places to live. We're here to produce rum. Finest rum the Caribbean has ever seen. Some goods over here. Again, that's the risk with trading in Spanish waters, unfortunately, right now. World, though. I'm actually shocked that uh, Isabella got taken care of. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I am surprised that uh, all of the rum in Isabella is ours. Put it out. Have you given up again? No. But they will. They will soon enough. If they don't, I'll buy them out. I feel like we'll make enough money soon enough. Maybe one more trip with a different flag will do the trick. What are we looking at? Okay, okay. Buying a lot of sugar here. We're good though. These guys come back, they finish their roots. Our overall, I think we have... Like, these guys make so much money compared to how much we lose on the Trinidad route. But I think it balances out okay. The war between England and Spain ended today. That's good. That's good. This is not so good, though. Hopefully we can dump off some of the stuff we're carrying. Okay, good. There we go. I was like, hopefully we're carrying more than just a bunch of wood on one ship, because, I mean, again, we have the uh, option to take on other angles of approach. Yeah, there we go. See what I mean? It's just like, this one operates at a bit of a loss, but it's shipping our goods around. The others are operating at such a profit that I think it balances out uh, extremely on the positive side. Good stuff. I mean, dumping the wood over there as well. A lot of sugar. 
Oh, we are sugar barons, I suppose. There we go, good stuff. Now, Rum over here, of course, is all us, right? Always was, always will be. Over here, Rum is all us at Trinidad. And Mona Truth, Isabella, Rum is all us. One business left over here in town, one business left over here in town as well, not operating. They've, I would say they've been squeezed out, basically. Again, if I, the prices, wasn't it at 97k at one point? The prices have dropped a fair bit. We can keep this up, we can keep flooding the uh, the markets. In fact, we could flood uh, Isabella as well, right? But I, I don't think, I don't think we can flood it any more than this. Those guys are, yeah, look at that, look at these gaps over here. Maybe. Maybe we buy them out. Accelerate our own processes. But I mean, overall, folks, uh, I would say that was a pretty successful venture. I mean, we've uh, started producing rum in more than one city. Uh, we've taken over English rum production. The businesses that are left are only around for a little bit longer before we drive them out completely. And uh, all the English rum is... Uh, is from our own rumpire. Or, I mean, again, if I if I adjust this um, trade route a little bit, we'll be a lot more profitable. And by adjust it, I do maybe mean swap the flag we're flying. But I think we're pretty comfortable with how things are going. Beginning of the empire in Newfoundland. Wow. What are the chances? Sir Humphrey Gilbert claims Newfoundland for the English crown. On the return journey, Gilbert disappears with his ship and the settlement of, Newfound of Newfoundland is postponed. It will take another quarter of a century until the official colony of Newfoundland is founded. Wondering. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. But uh, folks, I mean, with a little touch of Canada and with our uh, rum production looking pretty good across the board, I think it's not a bad time to call it. Not just a session, but a mini-series. Financially, I mean, we're a little bit in the hole, but we all know that there's an easy solution to that, right? We all know there's an easy solution to that. I could even do a little bit of that right now if I felt so inclined, but feeling pretty happy about uh, about all this rum. I'm pretty happy about all this rum. We are, we are, we're doing well. We're doing well. I, I'm, I'm really surprised at Isabella. I'm shocked that we managed to uh, perform so well at Isabella, folks. I hope you enjoyed this mini-series with Port Royale 4. I hope it showed you sort of the capabilities in this game, what you can do. We took an angle which completely ignored our objectives, right? We, we didn't follow the, uh, the game-given objectives. Instead, we focused on doing our own thing. We focused on getting sugar, wood, and rum up and running where, you know, one or the other resource is readily available or where it's not. Actually, at Trinidad, do we have... Oh, would you look at that? We actually ran the other sawmills out of town as well. That must be where um, there was a slight dip in production, maybe. Yeah, so I think we've learned our uh, learned how this game can can have its uh, its arm bent, so to speak, and how we can force other businesses out of town. How we can establish uh, our own little rum domain over here, our, our rum pyre, as I keep calling it. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the mini series. I certainly did. It's been very fun exploring Port Royal Four. Uh, Again, you might have seen my interview with the developers many, many months ago, and when they were describing to me all the possibilities and options, I was extremely excited by the uh, the concept of the game. So it's been fun to be able to sit down and actually try to execute some of the, you know, out of left field ideas. I mean, rum, maybe not so out of left field in this part of the world, but uh, but but the concept of you know trying to establish our, our dominance over here. There were a couple of really pleasant surprises for me as well, just sort of seeing. Um, those first businesses get shut down at Port Royal. That was great just to see like our presence and our flooding of the market have that very real impact. Um, you know, yeah, if, if your business isn't profitable anymore, why why hold on to it? And we were managed we were able to recreate that at Trinidad and at Isabella, um, allowing us to yeah, just control this little trifecta of uh, of rum production in the in in, in, in in the English Caribbean. Folks if you enjoyed this mini-series and you'd like to see more like it, you know, short spurts of gameplay of a, of a special game that I think is worth highlighting, please don't hesitate to let me know down below. And again, if you've really enjoyed what you've seen of Port Royale 4 or you're thinking about picking it up for yourself, check out the link in the description 
and in the pinned comment down below as well. It's the same link. It'll take you to a spot where you can learn more about the game and you can pick up the game as well. If you have picked the game up for yourself, don't hesitate to share stories. I'd love to know what, you know, you all have been getting up to and feel free to share them either in the comments or join our Discord. Again, link in the description down below for that as well, where uh, where there are, I think, quite a few people who are playing Portrayal 4 right now. Uh, and it's always fun to hear stories that come out of sandboxes. But folks, this is, I think, the end of our uh, of our mini-series. Like I said, the only box that's left to check, I would say, is uh, returning from, from, from being in the red. But we, we, we've seen how quickly we can do that. All it takes is to hoist the Jolly Roger, hit up a couple of merchant ships, and uh, return to port somewhere. But it is time for us to bid farewell to Port Royale, not just the city, but the game. Maybe we'll come back to it with another concept. Maybe I'll do a quick, uh, another mini-series or something with a different goal at the end of it. Y'all let me know what you think. But for now, I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it does make a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of. Y'all know the drill by now. And of course, again, a massive thanks to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.